so yesterday was fun. Uh, I expected in my head to film this amazing trip at Eskdale and it was raining the whole time and yeah literally the heavens opened and even my waterproofs were not waterproof at the end of that. Um, so all I managed to get was just a very short dip of me uh, in the waterfall there. So here I am today. What a difference a day makes. Clear blue skies. Ta da! And uh, crispy and cold. Now, today, another day. Uh, another day, another dip. I've been reading this book and it's amazing. Uh, I will share it in the credits below, but it's, I think it's called The Hidden Messages from Water. And we are water. I love the Avatar film, Be Like Water. And what uh, it said in the book, which something along the lines of water forms crystals when it's frozen. And love and gratitude are in unity are very, very beautiful. And what I like about it, that it explains that love is active and unconditional whilst gratitude is the passive energy of receiving that active love unconditionally and it truly is when it comes to defining it as a gift of life is that the, the gift of having actively been given life and then the joy of receiving that gift of life I mean it's it's, it's amazing I mean, I think they probably said it more eloquently than I have done, but uh, but yeah, so the unity is like active and passive together, just like the sun and moon, just like maybe the masculine and feminine energy. And um, the reason why I'm saying this is because in the book they described it as you need, so love is the greatest, but if you look at H2O, the molecule, two hydrogens, one oxygen, you need two parts gratitude for one love, just like water. And somebody said, it's like you have two ears and one mouth. So again, it's about the passive and the active there. Much better to listen than to speak sometimes. Just like the sun is active, the moon is passive, masculine and feminine energy. and. I just think when you look at things like that, it's pretty refreshing and I, uh, yeah, I absolutely love it. So I was very excited to share and I, uh, and I really look at the water and it does give me unconditional love. Well, that's how I've learned to be in unconditional love, but I'm also the same, the same person that's receiving it and I love it. So, or I'm in bliss or it's a blessing and I have so much gratitude, that's why I go like this to thank the water when I've left. Uh, it's just something that I've done naturally. Uh, so really that book is amazing. Just thought I'd share that with you. Uh, I think. Um, the point is that you need twice as much gratitude than you do for love to make the balance. And again in the book it was explaining that maybe that's probably the imbalance that the world we live in right now, that love for some people is very much in the eye um, and materialistic and things like that when to get the balance is to have gratitude for the love and to have gratitude twice as much gratitude back and therefore that might restore the balance that we live in now so less about the I and more about the thank you anyway it made sense to me. As I stand in this water, I have so much appreciation for the unique depth. 
really to go inside each water, each molecule is another level for me. So I wonder, have humans been living in two part gratitude and one part love? I think not. Honestly, love alone cannot be denied. It's one of the highest vibrations, but love and gratitude really has opened my mind to even more. So as I was trying to say before, lesson I want, I will, and stuff like that. Learn to know that, I don't know, what it means that we have enough. For me, the gratitude of having been born, to take a breath of air as I go into nature, pure water from these mountains as I decide to go into the cold, when I open my eyes truly to this world, it de deserves so much of my gratitude. So every dip now, I fill myself up with pure water and gratitude. And how wonderful is that?